Alright, hello and welcome everyone back to some more Dragon Quest 11s and today we're finally doing it. After an entire game's worth of bullshit, we are finally going to Tickington to finish off every or to actually start and finish everything there. So without further ado, let us begin this journey through Tickington into the past Dragon Quest games. Here we are everyone. Tick tock, tick tock, you'll never guess what I've got. I was strolling around the village when I clocked the prettiest thing just lying on the ground. Here, why don't you take it off my hands? I think it might be very useful to you when the time is right. Star Spectrum Nectar. Okay. Been a while since we've been here, but now we get to see this beautiful 2D aesthetic that is Dragon Quest XI. I haven't really done anything with this just because... Uh, there's not really much use to it. Like, you could play the entire game in 2D like this, but, like, it's a good old retro Dragon Quest game. I wanted to do it in, uh, you know, 3D, but anyway, we have business to attend to. So, where are we going to start? In order to undo the damage that's been done to the Sacred Tomes, we need to find the Tockles who've been dispatched to Erdria, take them to passwords, and learn to travel. The Hux set time back to its correct course. Cool, so where do we want to begin? This one is Altar of Origins. Pretty sure this is, this might be Dragon Quest 1. Have a look and see. Damdara, yep. Ah, that good old classic. All right, let's see what the problem is here. Do I SB a wanderer coming to visit? I bid thee welcome, friend. Now, unless mine eyes deceive me, thou art no callow youth, but rather a seasoned warrior. Let me to apprise thee of what... What hath befallen this place? T'was once the fair town of Damdara. Alas, tis now a monster ravaged wasteland, whose people have all fled. Our woes began when marauding fiends laid waste to our beloved home. Now one among them is risen again. By what foul means, I know not. I speak of that shadow chevalier, the knight of Barrent. This wicked being now ruleth o'er the ruins of Damdra, and hath roused the departed from their slumber that he might tyrannize them. Yea, I myself am one such unfortunate soul. I know not who art, who thou art, friend, but I beseech thee, take up arms against the knight of Barrent. Return us to arrest. Prithee, banish the darkness that has descended upon this place. Yes. Huzzah! That was a seed to my request. Verily, the hero we have awaited hath come at last. Now thine enemy, the Knight of Barrent, doth oft appear behind the armorers in the southeast of town. Cool. I change up my party a little bit. Ah, oh, good old classic menu. I think I'll have, of course, me. We'll have... Let's go with... Veronica, Hendrik, and Serena. Or Urarab. Yeah, let's just go with a, a very different... set of people than usual for this. So he said to the southeast. Here we go. A curious memory doth trouble my mind of late. I did S.P. Magog as he buried a certain something neath the tree behind his shop. It was on the very eve of the calamity that struck us. Though it might have been, I know not. Besides, it was long ago. Whatever it was, has doubtless long since been disinterested. Disinterred or otherwise removed. Certain something neath the tree behind his shop. Let's see. Okay, so I can't leave. Ah, oh, of course. So, hold on, you said they're southeast of town, right? 
Head to the back of the weapon shop in the southeast of town. Might this be our savior who stands before me? Might this be the one to smite the knight of Baron and free us from this cruel vassalage at last? Our tormentor doth off appear behind this place. Gird up thy loins, friend, and do thine utmost to end suffering. Okay. Does it only show up at night? Or do I have to rest? Ooh. Come on. Do I have to be in the in the poison or something? An eerie voice can be heard drifting on the air. Wherefore comest thou here, fool? Knowest thou not? Knowest thou not that to vex the rule of this realm of misery is a crime punishable by death? Vat thee. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Dragon Quest mu music, baby. Let's see. We'll fight. And we will. Let's do a sword. No, let's just do swords dance. We'll have Veronica... Ooh, how about an oomphal on Hendrick? And Hendrick hit him with the good old-fashioned blind man's biff. Rab, hit us with that good old... Can you hit us with a sap? Yeah, hit him with a sap or something. Oh no. So who's asleep? Okay, Veronica's asleep. We'll do another swords dance. I know Hendrix asleep. Okay. How about Oomphal on me? We'll do. Eh, could crackle. God, they did so good on these animations for the sprites. They're so wonderful. Victory! 13,000 experience. The Knight of Baron Tafia, the spirits of the townsfolks, will be able to rest in peace once more. Go and tell the man at the entrance to Dondra that his oppressor is no more. I can do that. You're a man? Praise be, we are delivered from our plight. Verily, thou art the savior we have so long awaited. Pretty, accept the small token of my gratitude, trifling though it be. Denisinium. Or Densinium. Perfect. We have the ghost of a Golden Age quest. As I not appeared upon our humble town, mayhap, we might never have been saved. Now, though, Thanks to thine timely intervention, we may sleep peacefully at last. I am Galen. I am Galen, best among bards, whose praises once were sung in every corner of this fair land. The town Dondra, in whose room thou standest, was once a bunsling and handsome settlement, but alas, no more. When I close mine eyes, glad scenes of yesteryear do float before me as if they occurred only yesterday. Come, friend, join me in my reverie. Perfect. Let's move on then to Tandigale Castle. What we got going here? Hello. I bid thee welcome to Tanagel, the town at the very heart of Alephgard. The noble souls thou seest before thee are none other than our beloved king and his fair daughter, the princess Graylin. Verily, tis marvelous indeed to see the princess restored to her rightful place. She hath of late been rescued by a mighty hero from the clutches of the foul t tyrant known as Dragonlord. 
Fear that if the king should remain in his current sorry state, he will be unable to discuss a certain matter of great importance with the hero of our land. If our hero ventureth forth without any and all such aid as might be impaired unto him, heaven alone knoweth what might befall him. Oh, how the princess would wail were he to come to harm. How long is it since we last heard the king's bold and vigorous voice resounding throughout the throne room? Really, it must be agony for him to suffer so. I beseech thee, do all that is in thy power to aid the princess and help put this terrible misfortune behind us. Greetings to you, wanderer. I'm Gwaylin, princess of Tanagel. Prithee, lend me thine ears that I might impart to thee my sorry tale. Some days ago, a fiend calling himself the End of Time did appear before my noble father, did place upon him a curse that hath rendered him unable to utter a word. Tis a calamity indeed, for there is a matter of great import upon the subject of which he wished to consult with the hero of our land. How can he do so when he hath been struck so cruelly dumb? I have done all that is within my power to cure him, but alas, no tint, no tincture, tonic, or balm hath the slightest effect. But one fate hope remains to us, a sweet syrup known as Spectrum Nectar. A single spoonful is said to bring honeyed words gushing forth like unto a brook after the summer rains. Last is not concocted in the humble peasant or idle miller might mix up in a trice. Nay, it hath been said since ancient times that only one who bringeth peace upon his world might lay his hands upon it. Tis a weighty request indeed, but perhaps one day thou might bring peace to this world or another. Should such a happy marvel come to pass, the sacred nectar then might be thine. What sayest thou? Wilt thou aid us in our hour of need? Wilt thou bring me the spectrum nectar, that it might ease my dear father's suffering? Yes. Thou wilt joy. Well, that I might offer more guidance. Alas, I know, all I know is that only one such as thee able to travel at will twixt thine own world and this stands the chance of finding that which I seek. I beg of thee, just that lay hands upon thy fable nectar. Really bring it to me without delay. Well, curse got your tongue? Well, the good news is, guess what I got? I see, hast thou not? Do not delay. My beloved father hath suffered in silence for far too long already. Yes. Yea, and verily, my eternal gratitude is thine. Gives her father a spoonful of spectrum nectar. Ah, uh. Tis a miracle, I'm cured. I can speak once more. Father, thy voice boometh forth, loud and true. Gwaylin, apple of mine eye, how it paineth me to have put you through this trying time. But hark, my voice hath returned to me. I dare say it doth resonate more mightily than e'er it did before. Noble stranger, truly thou hast performed a great service unto this land. How can we ever hope to repay thee? But of course, now that I'm in command of my voice once more, what better way to celebrate than to grant thee the inestimable honor of reveling in my magnificent baritone? Serenades 11 with a delightful ditty. Oh, now have I sung with such conviction. It's just as well, for once the Dragon Lord is defeated and the hero agrees to take my crown, I intend to regal him with his very ditty as coronation. It was stranger. Truly thou wert sent unto us by a higher power. Prithee, accept this small token of our eternal gratitude. Pallium regale. This man has utmost importance with the hero of our land. Verily, words fail me. Thank you. Thank you, oh thank you. And that's another quest complete. Dragon Quest 1 has been completed. Drick. Or Lodo, or whatever you want it to be. Tickety boo, one of the books is back to normal. You saved the day again. Thank you, Mr. Hero. Thank you. If you clocked our new statue, it commemorates a luminary from an age gone by. Your heroics in the past have restored it, you see. It's not quite time to be taking a tick, tick to rest just yet. You need to keep helping the people of Legends of Old to put time straight again. Yes, yes. Eh, Munahan. Yes, this is Dragon Quest 2. Oh, everyone's been turned to animals here.
we got going. Oh, is that Princess, uh, Wilbrook? Thou wondrous who I am, perhaps? Yes. To thy princess of the realm in which thou standest, fair Moonbrook. Last tis a realm much diminished. An evil wretch named Hargon, a priest in the service of pure wickedness, did burn my home. The castle to the ground and cursed me to take the form of a dog. I was on banished here to Munahan, where I did spend many a miserable bit of day, whimpering at my sorry fate. And wherefore I know not, the curse upon me was lifted, and the people of the town took on canine form in my stead. Truly it seemeth that I bring disaster wheresoever I do roam. First the castle was destroyed, and now my curse has been inflicted on scores of innocents. And there may be a solution. I once heard of a spell from the time of Mighty Erdrick. Sheen was its name, and it was said to be capable of lifting any curse. For when I gathered, tis an incantation beyond my mere meager magical means. Were I to acquire the enchanted elixir known as magic water, I might perhaps eke out a single cast thing. Bring her some magic water. Sure, I think I can do that. Capable of sword, I have little doubt that thou art more than equipped to find that which I require. Prithee, seek it out. Yep. Should have that on hand. Yes, I will give you some magic water. Lo, how beautiful it is. Tis almost a shame to use it. Though I use it, I must. What sayest thou? Paying this wondrous liquid in thy world is a mere trifle? So many of places that thou callest home. And when I speak of such things another time, the townspeople can be suffered to wait no longer for the lifting of the curse that ails them. My magical powers are meager, but with this enchanted elixir at my disposal, they may just suffice. For all that thou hast done for me, rest assured that thou hast my undying gratitude. Now let us pray that our efforts have not been in vain. Be upon my powers alone will not suffice to banish this pernicious curse. Nay, I must need, needs take its wicked magics upon my own self once again. But if that is what it will take to deliver the people of Munahan from its clutches... I was looking at Lemon intently. It appears to be holding something in its mouth. A devil's tail. Oh, she is a dog again. Hark, right, can thou hear a dog's faint howl floating upon the breeze? They're not some curiously know about its timber. Noble yet suffused with sadness? What a dream I had. Mangy mongrel. Huh. Fear that I misplayed my precious tumble a ticket, only to find that I had been cast rudely into a hole somewhere. Hole somewhere I dug up in the mud. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is so wonderful. Well, we're done here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh. Princess Moonbrook. Man, I, I need some proper remasters of Dragon Quest 1 and 2 to be done in the way that the Dragon Quest... No, no, no. To be done in the way that the Dragon Quest 3 remaster is doing. It's, it's, going, it's so good. I need it to look like that. I need 1 and 2 remasters like that. Some beautiful sprite work. Ah, yes. Hello. Never before hath the crown prince been absent so long. I can help but fear for him. I only pray that he hath not come to any harm. Castle town of Kaunak welcomes thee. Though at last thou hast arrived at an unhappy time, thou seemst a capable sort, prithee. Make haste to the throne and speak with the king. Lo, this is, a is this the courageous adventurer I see before me? Well met, wanderer. I know not whom thou art, but there is a boon I would ask of thee. Some days since mine own beloved son, the crown prince, did vow to vanquish the high priest Hargon, and so say, so saying, did set out in search of the prince of Middenhall that they might join forces in this quest. But not depart on foot, nay. Seeing that the boy did vanish in thin air, like, in, like into a puff of smoke. 
No, I've since seen hide nor hair of him. My father cannot help but fret. Prithee, wilt thou seek him out and bring him to me that I might know he is well here and venture forth once more? Sure. Verily thou art benevolent indeed. As I have stated, my son did set out in search of the Prince of Middenhall, in addition the Princess of Moonbrook, and other of his royal peers. I have scant little in the way of further details save this. To it seem he spake of having heard tell of a prince among people named the Roamers. That's Dragon Quest Seven. Sorry, it's very hard to read this this old school dialogue. That sounds like Dragon Quest Seven to me right there. B place called the Roamers. God, these sprites look so good. I'm a sucker for good for good sprite work. All right, so where would Dragon Quest Seven be? Cave leading to Renderak. Now let's go ahead and take care of that, shall we? Let's see, so it's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gone Seven is the one I haven't really played a whole ton. Romer Encampment. Yes, I need to go here. And we get some other pages from uh, being in here as well. Where are you, Prince? Visitors, I want to say we cannot give you proper Romer welcome. This is a difficult time, you see. Lala, our most gifted dancer, has been struck down by a grave illness. We can do is offer a prayer. It's the most sacred ritual dance. I thought this fool would be here. Oh, 13 gold coin. Rombar, and I'm the Lee of the Romer clan. On behalf of my people, bid you welcome. The normal run of things, we would eat, drink, and make merry to celebrate the appearance of our guests in our midst. But I'm sorry to say that you have chosen an opportune moment to appear. That truth is that Lala, who dances for us at all our rites and festivities, was attacked by monsters and has been struck down by a terrible and mysterious malady. We did all we can to cure her herbal remedies, prayers, ritual dances, but nothing has worked and she continues to suffer terribly. Last resort, Lala's husband, Kaifer, has set off in search of a rare gem that is said to have the power to cure all ailments. However, he has not yet returned. We expect him to be home by now, and I confess to him to being a little concerned. The lad is a brave warrior who can hold his own against any foe, but could some misfortune perhaps have befallen him? Please understand that I do not make a habit of asking strangers for assistance, but it seems to me that Providence has brought you to us. I ask you humbly to help us in our hour of need. Will you search for Kaifer and aid him in his quest to find the precious healing gem? Sure. Marvelous. Thank you, kind stranger. Thank you. Now, Kaifer said he was heading to the mine where these precious gems are to be found. These gems are known as Rainbow Rocks. As that melody, melodious name might suggest, they come in range of colors, but Kaifer was very specific about the hue he wanted. Green. All we can do now is pray that you succeed on behalf of my people. I beseech you, find Kaifer, get the green gem, and save Lala's life. Oh, Kaifer, you beautiful son of a bitch. Okay, well, he's not here. Oh, that's right. He has the habit of getting lost. We'll find we'll find him eventually then. Hello, sir. No, what you always stands before me. How do I know this to be true, thou Christ? Why a proud soldier of Middenhall can tell a fellow fighter when he sees one. It's fortuitous indeed, for I seek just one as thee. Wherefore thou sayest, why a found ferocious monster hath laid claim to the treasure of the cave wherein we stand? Soul Sigil, Erdrick's armor and the mighty Thunderbolt Blade. All about with them. Uh, yes. Okay. What are with all these stairs? Oh.
So, what is this? Hmm. Where is this taking me, even? Is that him? Very good. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, so I, I forget how this works. Um, here, we're going to do this real quick, however. Okay, so, hold on, let's reset this. So, this way, go down. Okay, so I gotta go. So I go up. Okay. Go down one. Out. Then up. Okay. Then maybe down again. Oh hey, there he is. Okay. He's running. He's moving. Alright, so let me grab some chests then. Thunderball. Ooh. Items. For the item lord. Oh god, what the fuck is all this? Okay, well. I am going to keep using holy protection. Because I, I don't want to have a, a shit ton of random encounters. Sorry, everyone. Look at that. Okay, so what's over here then? Okay, so then what's over there? That looks like the way to go. If you ask me. It does not last very long, does it? Okay. That led to that. That means we go back this way. And this will lead us. Actually, I'm kind of curious where that other hallway leads to. Or like these guys. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. You lead to something. Okay. So I just get some seeds out of this. Very cool. Kinda sad Rab's not in his outfit, but you know what? Down here then? Uh, nothing. Very good. Nothing here. Probably an item hidden, but I'm not really going to look for it. Oh, okay. I went to that one already. So now we can actually follow this fiend. Ooh. I wish I had a quick cast for holy protection, but I do not. It's fine, though. Give no fucks. There he be. Okay. Where the flying bug? Okay. Okay. So, made it finally. Okay, now where the hell am I? 
Oh, I gotta figure this one out now. Okay. Up. No. Left. Okay, so left. Left, right. Left. Left, right. Right. No. Left. Up. No. Okay. Let's try going right. 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 No. Okay. Right. Left. Right, left. Right, left, right. Up. Right. Left. Right. Right. Down. No. Oh, these things. They hurt me, right? These things hurt me a lot. No, 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 no. I did... Fuck. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, this shit. Who this shit. Right, left, right. Right. You get so far into this, you, you forget what you have done. good cool I think everyone yeah we're good let's go ah yeah even the mightiest monster in red rock standeth not clank the slyest chance of slyest of chances against my pitiless blade but wait what have we here dost thou desire to face me very well thou seemest a worthy opponent i welcome the chance to display my matchless skills my lawyer and master did guide me here whereupon i've Failed myself of the finest of knightly trappings. The Thunderbolt Blade, the soul sigil, and the armor of none other than Erdrick himself. And lo, in donning his fabled garb, I am become as mighty as he. None shall best me now. Now the time is upon us. I must unleash my newfound powers and aid my master in reducing this realm to naught but our wasteland. Erdrick's restless armor. Alright, we'll see about that, bud. Hit me with an oomphal, if you would, Veronica. Hendrick, hit him with a good old... Helm Splitter. Grab. Kazamel. That looks very nice. Hendrick, do that again. Then with another. Veronica. Eh, it could crack. Or, you know, ooh, could frizzle. Hendrick, him with some blind man's biff. Hendrick, or, uh, Rab, do a little bit of healing if you would, Grandpa.
Oh, okay. Very good. 15,000 gold coins. With the fiend who filched them defeated Erdrick's armor, the soul sigil, and the thermal blade begin to glow with a lustrous light. Go and tell the guard of the cave the entrance. The rest of this armor is no more. Good bad idea to go any further? Okay, well. Well, I guess now we can just do whatever and get back. I wonder if there's still monsters in here now that we've defeated him. Oh, wait, I can just evac now. I'm stupid. Hello, sir. Yes, we, we have defeated him. Uber Agate of Evolution, thank you. Good. Now we just gotta find that stupid prince of Cannabrook. We'll find him eventually. Onward then to Dragon Quest 3. Drick's future home. The Ortega fellow is supposed to be preparing for his big day, but where is he? Off gallivanting about the place on some foolish adventure or other? I don't want to marry a man like that. No sooner will he slip the ring on his bride's finger than he'll be out the door on his next expade. Stop like Ortega really shouldn't be thinking about getting married. He's so uncouth and boorish, he'd make his wife lie some misery. There's nothing sure. No. Doing the world a big favor by staying single, letting his bride to be find someone better. Vegas as poor as a church mouse. I mean, look at this day of the armor he wears, and that sword. Well, it was the cheapest model I had, and that was years ago. No money was in everything, but he hopes to make a marriage work when he doesn't have two gold coins to run together is beyond me. Dig against this wedding. Terrible idea, I mean, an individual like Ortega really shouldn't be getting married. What if he has children? They might be even worse. I can't believe all the nonsense talking about my boy. I raised him to be a fine, upstanding pillar of the community. All I'm hearing is his name being blackened left, right, and center. How can the wedding go ahead now? What kind of future awaits this poor woman if she marries my son? She'll be an outcast. Well, you look like you're in your right mind, at least. At least I could say the same for everyone else around here. So I must be wondering what in the world is going on about. Let me explain. I'm all set to marry my beloved Ortega, but things have gotten a little complicated. All my friends and neighbors were thrilled at the idea of our finally get tying the knot. Well, they were until this morning, at any rate. Now they're all dead set against the idea. It seems suddenly no one's got a good word to say about my hubby-to-be, which makes absolutely no sense, as he's the most lovely, generous man you could ever hope to meet. So understand, everyone's known Ortega for years, and they've never had a bad word to say about him. They've lost their collective minds. That's between you and me, I suspect foul play. I heard about this horrible curse, you see, which makes folks say things they don't really believe. But apparently it's a cure, a mysterious medis medicinal liquid known as defuddle drops that can restore people to their senses. Thing is, I don't guide Emmy to go looking for such a thing. Well, you're the only sensible person I met all day. Am I bringing me some defuddle drops, please? Pretty please? Sure. You will? Oh, thank you. I could tell you are one of those adventurous types who see all kinds of strange things on their travels. So you wouldn't just laugh at me. You're just like my Ortega. Now, all I know about defuddle drops is that they're found up in the heavens where the angels live, or so they say. You'd imagine I have no idea how you'd go about getting there, but I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Where the Celestrians live? Hey, that's Dragon Quest Nine, one of my favorites. One of my all-time favorites, Dragon Quest Nine. We will get there eventually. Some of these things are going to be put on hold, I'm seeing. Baramos' Castle. The hero of Ale Alehan toppled the evil Baramos. We could have been forgiven for thinking we had seen the last of the monsters who had terrorized our land. But no such luck, I'm afraid. No, there are sinister things afoot. You are inclined to help us and wish to learn more. I recommend 
speak to his majesty just over there. Things do not look good. Wait, what do we have here? Karamba, a mighty warrior. Hi, you look like you know one end of a sword from the other. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me explain a little about this place. This was once the seat of power of the king of Necrogon before the archfiend Baramos came and claimed it as his own. Happily, a great hero ventured forth from a place called Alihan and smote the beast. Beast restored to our world, we came from all over to honor those who fell at Baramos' hand. Hi, well, things are really so simple to our horror. When we arrived, we found countless reanimated cadavers prowling the corridors of the castle in a quest to revive their fallen master. They succeed. The incredible achievement of the hero who toppled Baramos would have been for naught. No, we cannot allow this to happen. But we need your help, stranger. What do you say? Yeah. Brigado, my appraisal of you is not mistaken. Now venture to the castle where you will doubtless find kings from other realms and their courageous men doing battle with the undead hordes. I wonder if they will be able to tell you more about who or what is orchestrating the plot to resurrect the fallen fiend. Por favor, find them and put an end to their monstrous machinations. I can do this. Let us go forth, my friends. As a skeleton. First, all I had were questions. Why did I return? Why am I? What am I here to do? Then I heard his voice, and everything became clear. Let's restore our master, Baramos. This is what we are here to do. First, I tried to resist it, but it was futile. Now I know that I was wrong. If, only if I only obey the voice in my head, I can be free. I truly live again. Oh, this just sounds so good. I love Dragon Quest 3's music so much. They, they they did this these games from the past such justice with the sprite work. Oh, I'm just right back out here. That's a cursed voice that rises around my skull and I cannot ignore it. First spoke to me as I lay at my grave. Rise, people of Necrogond, it said. Give me life once more and I vow to grant you eternal bliss. What do we got down here? Let us see. Stairs. Spooky! What did I do with my life? What did I achieve? Nothing, but I have no regrets. My life is a mere prelude to this. Yes, when we serve the mighty Baramos, then we shall do as we please. Now I must merely bide my time and amuse myself by tearing you limb from limb. Oh, okay. Well, uh, you might not really, uh, you might not like the end result of that, buddy. I got a, I got a sneaky suspicion. Oh, wait, it's not. Um, yeah, sure. And with the good old sap. Cool, that's all you got. Forgive me, I should not have attacked you, but I was not in control of my actions. I lied, I was proud to be born in Necrogon. I achieved much with that life I was given. I knew joy, true fulfillment. At least now you know the truth. I do. Oh, hello. Grumpy bandage. Oh, hey, I was looking for one of those. The corpse. Casarola, please do not sneak up on me like that. I was certain you were a monster. Forgive me, I'm a little on edge. If I had known that things would end up like this, I would have instead insisted on the hero keeping my crown when he first came to Alihan. Let's see here. I'm getting tired of some random battles. We'll do this business. Set up this way. See what we got. Oh, we're back in here. Okay. So, where else can I go? Go back up here. Can I go anywhere over this way? The wall.
change up my party a little bit too. We'll have uh yeah, we'll have Jade come back. Actually, you know what? There we go. I like this party. What do you got for me? So it begin, I can feel it in my bones. The right of resurrection, none can stop it. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I got concerned for a second there. I was like, what the fuck was that? I'm in blackness. People of Necrogon once guarded the pit of Gyga. We wish to protect the world, to prevent calamity. And now I see how few it was. Peace means nothing. Protecting others is for fools. That matters is power, and serving Baramos will give us power without end. If you say so, pal. That's what makes you happy in your life. Ooh, you guys playing a game? 4K? Why? How could this happen? A brave young soldier who traveled with me from Winoza fell into the hands of the enemy and was taken away. His thinking about his fate is too painful. Just when everything was going so well, we had our victim. The sacrifice was at hand. And you had to come along. I'm afraid I cannot let you disrupt the sacred right to arms. Oh, okay. Well. Finally, I'm free. I was a mere puppet. I tried to resist, but my body was not my own. Thank you for freeing me, stranger. Thank you. Same for you. I thank you. The voice in my head is gone. Mine is my own once more. Now I am truly free. You would save me, but I still fear the life of the brain of young soldier who was carried away by these undead fiends. Yep. Yep. That hurts. Uh, I'll look at that in a minute. Oh, good. Where are you leading me? Oh. Uh. Okay. Was that just nothing? The price we make is all the one in the resurrection of Baramos. I think I'll pass on the prayer, bud. Ah, oh, hello, gentlemen. I was curious, but I'm convinced that I saw one of those undead creatures weeping. Perhaps they are not truly evil. Perhaps they are merely pawns in a higher powers game. Truly, that's not a fate I would wish on anyone. As far as I can tell, the undead are in fact the people of Necrogond. Since both the king and his unfortunate subjects have been resurrected. It's a truly tragic irony that those who fell victim to the Archfiend Baramos should be forced to try to revive him. I'm convinced that somewhere in this castle there's a monstrous mastermind pulling the strings and controlling the hordes of the undead. The sinister manipulator would be defeated that you... The unquiet souls at his command would surely be released from his thrall, and any danger of Bearmost being revived would be ended. Well, let's continue having our look-see, shall we? I go eat. I'm guessing since that was there, I'm going in the right direction. Is it you? I still love this place is packed with treasure. Trust me, you gotta feel for these things when you thieve for as long as I did. I go out this way. Okay. I want to talk to the big spooky skeleton though. Boys, I cannot give in to it. I cannot let it win. No, there's something more powerful than that voice, something I cannot ignore. I speak of my people's pain, their anguish at their at being treated as mere puppets. The vile creature who calls himself the Necrogondolier must be defeated. Only when he joins his master in oblivion can my people truly rest in peace. Very good. Get holy protection back going, shall we? Let's go see what this uh, other direction had. The castle's filled with a strange evil aura. Makes sense, though. Said the whole kingdom of Necrogon had been taken over by monsters. Isn't that amazing, honey.
little bits of nice character dialogue. They're good for the soul. How the fuck did I get here again? Oh. Okay, no, so I came from here. If I go down here... Leads me to a whole lot of nothing. Okay. But this stairwell leads me... Up here. Ah, the treasure! Prayer ring. Seat of defense. Seat of agility. Cool, okay, so... We got that treasure then. Very nice. Holy protection doesn't last a very long time, does it? These these tones are so great. Alright, what have you got for me, bud? It's a truly terrifying sight. A gang of putrid corpses seized a young soldier and carried him down the stairs in the center of the pond. Gave chase, but powerful evil seemed to be hanging in the air, growing gray with every step. I took, chilled my blood, and I am ashamed to say that my nerve failed me and I turned back. Well met, stranger, I'm the king of Adina, but fear not, I have the common touch. That means I can make conversation with everyone from foreign dignitaries to the lowliest bumpkins such as yourself. This is rather embarrassing to admit, but after managing to make it all the way to the to within a hair's breadth of the bad hat who's behind all of this, I pray I find myself rather too frightened to continue. Well, that's the case. I was learning everything, but it's actually quite impressive. It's not even that dirty. I suppose the monsters must have higher standards than others. A place with mops and buckets. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves with a nice heal all. Everyone got uh, all of their shite together. Let's see. Cool. I think we are all set for this. Hello. Oh. I actually don't know if I want to fight these guys before the big bad. Okay, cool. Might just go ahead, or he might summon these guys to fight. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take care of them. We're just do regular attacks. They seem to be pretty weak. Yep, there we go. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's worth getting them. Needs to be free. I don't understand why Baramos had not yet returned to us, but now I know. Your fault is you stands in our way, but no more. Prepare for the end. Finally, I can speak the truth. Do not let Baramos return, I beseech you. Yeah, you guys get kind of slapped. That doesn't help that max level, so, you know what? I might give you a pass there. You. How dare you do this? See how the fallen of Necrogon obey my every word? Yes, they have served me well, but little do they know that their reward will be unimaginable suffering. Yes, their torment is only beginning. Time of his return is at hand, fed by the flesh of the living and the despair of the awakened dead. My lord and master Bermo shall rise once more. But wait, was this? They are gone, my minions. Those who were to assist me in the right. This cannot be. You, you are responsible for this. Do you really mean to prevent me from reviving my master? Yep. I knew it. Commit a heinous crime. Not only have you interrupted the ceremony, but you have deprived me of the company of my puppets. Pathetic though they were, I liked having them around. Alright, sir. I believe the time has come for you to die. Tit with a... Where is it? Bam. Break his defense, would you, Hendrick? While we're at it. Yes. 
seeing. Jade, do it to him. Oh, hey, there we go. She did it to him. Ow, oh, who are you? How'd you manage to defeat me? What about my dreams? My beautiful dreams. Please, master, take me for myself unto you that you might live again. Please, master. With the relief, I sensed the evil dispersed, and sure enough, the fiend who was orchestrating this, all this, is no more. Beat him, did you? Well, bravo, who have thought a humble bumpkin such as self would have it in you? Okay. Can I evac back to the front? You have returned. It seems you have had some success. The walking dead are no more, and the stench of evil has faded. I know you could do it. I, I know you could defeat whatever evil was plying the resurrection of the fiend Baramos. Obrigado, thank you. Now take this, por favor. Truly, you have earned it. Racolite. There's no more. more. I found a serious word carved into the wall of the castle. I do not pretend to know what it means, but it may prove useful to you. Baramos' castle is an list of locations you can travel. Pretty good. I'm with it. Those are equally vicious no matter which world we travel, which one travel, world one travels to. What they have done to this kingdom is unforgivable. And I'll say this for the place, it's got an interesting layout. Seems there's more ways in than just the front gate. Come on, lads, try various entrances one by one. See what we find, eh? Oh, we're already done, Rab. Sorry. I think we've earned an, earn, an in visit real quick. All right, now that we've rested up, let's head back to Baramos' castle later on. That is you, and not a moment too soon. I was just going to send some of my men to search for you. Please brace yourself for bad news. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this. The Archfiend Baramos has returned. Do you understand it? You the evil mastermind behind the monstrous plot to revive the Lord of Evil. The one who called himself the Necrogondolier. How does his plan succeed regardless? However he achieved it, we have no choice but to fight. We have mustered forces from all corners of the land, but it will not be easy. Baramos has summoned legions of savage beasts to defend him. I beseech you, mighty warrior. Come to our aid once more, poor favor. Take up arms and banish the Archfeed from this world forever. Yes. The big bad's back anyway. I like that. Oh, do I want to go that way? I don't think so. Now that I've got a layout, I think I can make a quicker route. No, I can't. Trees are in the way. Bug. Okay. Oh, okay, so now we fight. Wait, I could probably go up here and make it a bit quicker. No, this doesn't lead me anywhere. Okay. So through the main entrance we go, then. Watch us some fighting you. Good day. Yeah, if I remember, I, I mean, I was literally just here, so I should remember the route pretty well. Oh, it's just a corpse. Down. Ah, no. Let's pack it with wit treasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just back here again. Okay. All right, there's a way I could go through here. That's right. You know, I did just run through here. I don't remember everything that well. It's a bad habit. Oh, uh, yeah, this way. Oh, 
I had to go up, right? Yes. Oh, fuck. I forgot holy protection wore off. No, not boreal serpents. Fine. Let's get this uh, holy protection back up, shall we? Oh, wait. No, this just led to the... Right, right. Go through here. Then go on this top one. God, I can't believe I managed to get lost. I must rejoin my liege. I think we're almost there. It's just a skeleton. Or skeleton. We made it again. My brave warrior, no sooner you departed, a terrifying black cloud appears around the throne, and when it cleared, it revealed none other than the arch Baramos. Ah, there he is. Hello. Baramos. When you interrupted the rite of resurrection, my underling, the Necro Necrogondola, was cast into the deepest despair. It was that despair that fed me, that nourished me, that allowed me to return. Now the hero of Alahan is no more. The world is mine for the taking. There is none who can stand in my way. Or do you have other ideas? Do you really mean to face me? Yes. You know, of course, that the stand against the mighty Baramos is to throw away your life. Well, as you please, this is a decision you will regret, but not for long. I shall rend you asunder and devour your innards before you have even realized that you are dead. Oh, yes. Listen to this. Hey, we did it. We defeated Baramos. Ooh, man. You, how, curse you! Hey, the Archfiend Baramos, report back to the King of Porto Portoga and turn the castle entrance. Here did, you defeated the Archfiend. Achievements recall those of another who stepped, who set out for my kingdom ready to take on the world. I speak, of course, of the hero of Alahan. I think I know him quite well. Golden Claws. Oh well, we defeated this evil. That's all that matters, right? I gotta do that one. But I have to get to the Celestrians for that. Dragon Quest 4, Altar of the Chosen.
Oh god. This shit. <gasps> Alina! Oh, this he is too much. Is much too powerful. Makes everyone exhausted completely. But I am incapable to abandon my quest regardless, and so I create an adventurer's band with these fellows. Again, I consider this was perhaps not an act of genius. Oh, Alina, you beautiful, beautiful woman. You beautiful bitch that fists everything in your path. Go around that. Nope. Okay. God. No, 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 no. Fuck. Why did they put evac right there beside holy protection? I just go back the way I was going. Oh wait, no, I just went in a big circle again, okay. Can I get to that doorway from here? Or is it going to be the locked? Oh hey, it's open. of serenity. Fuck. Oh, hey, look at that. I need to get over there. Hmm. Get over this away and on this one. Or not. Maybe I'm just stupid. I've considered that possibility. No, fuck, no, damn it. I tap my D-pad once. Fuck. There we go. Who lad? Okay, so what we got in here? A bunch of fucking bullshits what we got here. Oh, I could have gotten that, I think. No, I couldn't have. Okay. Well then. Oh, okay. Very good. I love Canna Box. Oh, that was it. Okay. That was an easy can of box. Um. Beaver few seed. Okay. Then what was the point of me coming here?
Oh, okay, so... So I meant to... I was meant to talk to you first. Okay, this part of the cave. Been turning out the temperature and clobber them. Okay. So do I have to go all the way back down there again? And then I'll find it? You hear? Yep, there he is. Okay, so yeah, I was just stupid. Is what that boiled down to. You! Flame th yeah, I, I don't think so, pal. You might want to... I want to, um, <laughs> reassess that. Yeah, see what I mean? I think you might want to reassess that. Yeah, I, you know, you're supposed to go through these things, uh, you know, as you're going through the game. But I did that in my first playthrough on the Switch, and then afterwards I've just found the best way to tackle them is to just wait till you've beaten the game. And I cheat and wait till I'm max level, so... Boy Talisman. On a journey to prevent the Lord of the Underworld. Ah, Kirill's ill. Okay. Alina. 